I'm Kelly Rowe, Lubbock County Sheriff. You are in the Lubbock County Detention Center. We have rules which are designed with your safety and the security of this facility in mind. This video is designed to tell you what is expected and show you how to make your time here as productive and trouble-free as possible. You will receive an inmate handbook which outlines in detail the detention center rules as well as your rights and privileges. You will be expected to read the handbook carefully. Ask an officer for clarification on any issue you feel is unclear. You are responsible for knowing and abiding by the information in this handbook. If you cannot read the handbook, it will be read to you. When you arrived, you had all your personal property collected, inventoried, and stored. Your property will be returned upon release. You were issued an identification wristband. You must display this wristband to receive all goods and services. It must be worn at all times, and it is your responsibility to inform an officer if it has been damaged or lost. Failure to wear the wristband or its intentional destruction may result in reclassification or loss of privileges. You will be assigned to a housing area according to your classification. You will be assigned to a specific bunk within the housing area. You are not allowed to change your housing or bunk assignment. Never enter another inmate cell or loiter near the entrance. The officer assigned to your housing area is in charge. Do not ask to speak to a supervisor unless you have an emergency situation. Any disputes you have can be addressed through the grievance process. You will be required to stand for roll calls and head counts, both scheduled and unscheduled. During this process, you must remain in your designated area until told otherwise by an officer. Each morning, the lights will be turned on and the cell doors will be open for the breakfast meal. In the evening, an officer will call lights out. You will quickly move to your assigned cell or bunk for the night. Likewise, when an officer calls for lockdown, you must immediately discontinue all activities and go to your cell or bunk. Televisions and telephones are controlled by the officer in charge. Television volume must be kept at a reasonable level and disagreements of any type will not be tolerated. You must keep your housing area clean and orderly at all times. You will be issued a container where you will keep all personal and issued property. All property not stored in your storage container will be considered contraband, which will be confiscated and disposed of. You must obtain permission from the officer in charge before entering the recreation area. No personal items will be allowed in the recreation area. You will be provided a meal three times each day. It is your responsibility to show your wristband to receive your meal tray when the officer in charge calls your name. While in this facility, you will be expected to maintain a high level of personal hygiene. Each housing area is equipped with showers, which you will be expected to use daily. You will be expected to keep your uniform clean and neat at all times. Sleeves and pant legs will not be folded or rolled up, and cuffs cannot be worn inside the socks. T-shirts are not allowed in the day room unless worn under the uniform shirt. T-shirts must be tucked into pants at all times. Sagging pants will not be tolerated. Laundry services and uniform exchange will be available according to a predetermined schedule. Washers and dryers are available in most housing areas for you to launder items purchased through commissary. If you entered this facility with money in your possession, a cash account will be established for you. You are not allowed to have any type of currency in your possession for any reason. You may receive visitors during the visiting hours assigned to you. You will have two visit times per week. It is your responsibility to notify your family and friends of the days and times for visitation. You may send as many letters as you wish at any time. If the detention staff suspects an envelope contains unauthorized items, it will be opened and inspected for contraband. Non-privileged mail is mail received from family, friends, religious groups, and publications. These will be opened and inspected for contraband before being distributed to you. Privileged mail is legal correspondence to and from government officials, courts, law enforcement organizations, bona fide news media, or inmates' attorneys. These will also be opened in your presence to verify no contraband is concealed. 
Commissary privileges will be offered to all eligible inmates at least once per week. Medical, dental, and mental health services will be provided to you when requested. Certain fees apply. If you are in need of these services, you must fill out a request form. Emergency medical services will always be available when needed. There are several job assignments performed by inmates within the Lubbock County Detention Center. Working inmates may be eligible for additional privileges and or alternate sentencing. If you are interested in becoming a working inmate, request a form from the officer in charge of your area and submit it to the working inmate supervisor. Violations of any faculty rule may result in removal from the working inmate program. Various programs and activities will be offered to inmates who qualify. These are designed to enrich and educate and even to assist you in re-entry into the community. You may express your interest by submitting the proper form to the program's office. Recreational library privileges will be offered according to schedule. A legal library has been furnished in the facility for inmates authorized to use it. An inmate legal request form must be completed for consideration to use the legal library. Officers and contracted civilian staff are required to maintain a professional demeanor at all times. The same is expected of you. If a problem arises between you and a staff member, you will not argue with the staff member or become disrespectful. Your only option is to write a grievance to the watch commander, including specific details and witnesses. Inmates will be held accountable for their actions, including making false reports. Contraband is not allowed. Anything not issued by this facility, not purchased from commissary, not authorized in the inmate handbook, or anything that has been altered from its original design is considered contraband. Possession of or trafficking unauthorized items into this facility is illegal. Criminal charges may be pursued. Inmates are subject to having their person or housing area searched at the discretion of officers at any time. Any contraband will be confiscated and may be discarded. Occasionally, you may be required to move through the facility unescorted. Your wristband will be scanned at the beginning point and again when you reach your destination. In this way, along with cameras, your progress through the corridors will be constantly monitored. While moving through the corridors, you will walk only on the dark colored tiles. The checkered tiles at intersections will serve as crosswalks for you to cross the hallways. When you are approached by detention center personnel or volunteers, stop, turn, and face the wall with your hands clasped behind your back until the personnel have passed by. Inmate rule violations are listed under two categories, major and minor. If an allegation is made you have violated a rule and it is sustained, you will be subject to disciplinary action. Consult your inmate handbook for a full listing of major and minor violations and for more information on all the topics mentioned in this video. Finally, you should know Lubbock County Detention Center has a zero tolerance policy concerning sexual abuse. If you are a victim of any abuse while in this facility, whether by another inmate or a staff member, you are encouraged to report it immediately to a supervisor. How you spend your time while in the Lubbock County Detention Center is entirely up to you. The information in this video is meant to help you make the right choices. Taking advantage of the opportunities provided for you and adhering to the rules of this facility will help provide a safe, secure environment during your stay in the Lubbock County Detention Center.